how would you describe your first time pitching at Yankee Stadium? Uh, yeah, I think it's all experience. Yeah, I think it's really uh, hard to put into words. I mean, obviously, it's a, not a normal circumstance. Um, but it's a circumstance that I, I embrace. Um, I'm extremely blessed to be in this position to be able to go out there and, you know, even be in here day in and day out in the locker room and around the guys and be able to have, play on this field. Um, it's a blessing in itself. And then to be able to throw this, this game tonight was, it was a lot of fun. Um, for a lot of people as an inner squad for me, I felt like a lot more to me. Um, you know, I felt, I felt great. My body felt good. Uh, and I was excited. So it was, it was a lot of fun. I was amped up for sure. And I mean, is your goal this year to make the majors? Do you think that this can happen, that you can help this team? Yeah, I think uh, there's no question. That's what my mentality is. Um, I think that I can produce at this level. I think I can get out to this level. I think I can, you know, I hold myself to a high regard. I always have, uh, I'm a very confident kid. Um, and I'll do whatever it takes to make this team. I mean, may, whatever it may be, if I'm not on the opening day roster or whatever it is, it's, it's, that's apples and oranges. I mean, um, I just, I, you know, I, I, want, I think I'm a major league baseball player and, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to try to show these guys that uh, I can compete at this level day in and day out and whatever happens, happens. And I'm just going to continue to get my work in. Thank you, Clark. Yep. Next question from Meredith Morakovitz. Meredith. Clark, where does all your confidence come from on the mound? Um, that's a good question. I think, well, first of all, I think I'm, I'm a man of faith. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of it is, you know, I've been extremely blessed. And I recognize that I'm blessed by God. And, you know, he's given me so many talents and so many opportunities. I think uh, I can't help but just feel, you know, uh, over, overwhelming feeling of, like, just confidence. And, and just, you know, whatever happens, happens. And it's kind of in his hands. It's not in mine. Uh, but another thing is, I mean, I've worked extremely hard at, at my craft and, and the work I put in is, is what you see on the field. I mean, you see what happens at the bright lights and stuff like that. But a lot of the work that I put in behind, behind the scenes is, is what gives me all that confidence. I mean, I, I try to prepare as much as I possibly can, whether that's in the weight room, in the training room, uh, whether that's looking at a lineup, whatever it may be, I try to prepare um, to be able to go out there and have success day in and day out. And that might not always be the case. Um, everybody goes to their times. I think that, I think that's another thing is that i I mean, last year I, I would have my times where I was scratching and it, it was, you'd have tough outing after tough outing. I think that the number one thing that I can't change with myself is my confidence. So if I, if I had that confidence in myself and my stuff and in my, in my preparation, I think that I'll be able to go out and get out to any, any level against any lineup. Solid spring training, solid today. Yeah. What do you view as your strengths right now on the mound? And what do you view as areas where you think you can even improve a little bit more? Yeah, I think that um, obviously I'm not a complete package. I think that everybody has things to work on. I think that the, the number one thing is for me right now is I'm able to throw, you know, any pitch in any count. I love throwing breaking balls behind the count, change ups behind the count. I think that being able to mix pitches and throw pitches for strikes is my number one, my number one strength. I think I'm a strike thrower. I like to attack the zone. I don't want to give any walks up. I think I gave up a walk today and uh, that probably killed me more than anything else. I, I just, I don't like giving free bases. And I think that the number one thing uh, for me is just to continue to, to attack guys with my stuff and go right at them. Cause I feel confident in my stuff. Um, uh, and you saw it tonight. I mean, I was extremely confident in, in being able to face this lineup and, and go out there and just attack it with my stuff. But I think the, Things that I need to work on, um, continuing to develop the changeup a little bit more. I got a, a couple swing and misses on it today. I was able to throw it for strikes today. But, you know, continue, continuing to develop those fourth and fifth pitches, I think, is the number one thing. And then, obviously, continue to work on the fastball command. I think that um, that's the number one thing to be in major league pitchers, be able to move the ball in and out, up and down. Um, so, if I can continue to work on my fastball command, I think that I'll be in a good place. Thanks, Meredith. The next question from Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead. Um, hi, Clark. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I just want to know, how was it to follow all the rules of not keeping the same ball and giving it away? Yeah. Like at what time some uh, pitchers would forget about it? Yeah, it's, it like? it's really tough. I think that it's definitely a learning curve, obviously. I mean, we're all in situations we've never been in. It's unprecedented for everybody. Um, I mean, the number one, I, I always lick my fingers when I'm throwing because I like, you know, I'm always spitting. I'm always doing things that technically I shouldn't be doing now. Um, so that's the number one thing for me is I've been like, even in practice or whatever we're doing, I'm like, okay, I can't spit, can't lick my fingers. So it's been an adjustment period for sure. 
um, but you saw me like wiping the ground because I was trying to get moisture on my hand from the, the grass because it rained. Um, and I think that we're going to start getting the, the wet towel rags. I think we didn't have them today for some reason. Um, but anyways, it, it's just like, it's definitely a learning curve to be able to be like, all right, I can't lick my fingers and just continue to focus on it. Um, but obviously, you know, these are the, the cards we've been dealt and we got to do with what we have. And, you know, I think that everybody eventually will get adjusted to it and maybe a year or so from now, people won't even be spitting or, or spitting seeds or whatever it may be. So we'll see what happens. Next question from John Schwartz. John, you can unmute. Hey there, Clark, how are you? Um, you know, you're, you're doing really well in spring training, everything like that. And then you go into these last few months, forgetting about all the stuff that's going on outside the game. But I mean, with all the uncertainty for you about where you would be, when did you start knowing and hearing kind of like where you would be going come July as, 1st or whatever? As far as like where would spring training be or? That you would even be going anywhere really. Right, I mean, yeah. I, I think that um, – it was tough. It was like, in the beginning, it was like, all right, am I doing too much? Am I doing not enough throwing, working out wise? And then as things kind of like, okay, this is going to be maybe a longer term thing. It was, it was like, all right, I'm going to kind of back down on the bullpens and the live VPs or whatever it may be. Uh, but it was, I think that was the toughest part. I think that being able to manage your, I mean, I was even talking to the starters like now, I think that being able to manage your whatever the, whatever you want to call it off season or whatever it was off season 2.0, um, I think that was the toughest part for for the pitchers. I think you don't you don't really know when to ramp up. Am I doing too much? Am I doing too little? So that was a big adjustment period for me. Um, and so I think that towards the this this past couple of month or so, you kind of got that vibe that may, when people the negotiations, it felt like in the media that it was like, all right, this isn't happening. But I think behind the scenes, guys started kind of getting seeing the writing on the wall and was like, all right, maybe this is happening. Um, so I was good to have people in, in high places telling me, giving me information, say, Hey, you need to, you need to probably be ramping it up. And, it, and for me, I was like, I want to be over-prepared than underprepared. So I wanted to be, when I came out here, like today, I wanted to be ready to go hundred percent, throwing as hard as I can, uh, feeling as good as I can. And I think that, that the big thing for me is being able to bounce back after outings like this. I think, uh, not being able to throw in a game and then just jumping right into stuff. It's tough in the same hand, but you, you got to be able to do it and adjust. Um, so for me, it's all about bouncing back and, and continue to get back on that five day rotation. We'll take a last question because we need to go get Jay Hap. Uh, Eric Boland, if you can unmute. Hey, Clark, thanks for, uh, for coming in. Uh, just a real quick one. How difficult was it for you to be having the kind of spring that you were having where you impressed a, a lot of people, whether it be teammates, your manager, opposing team scouts, et cetera? And then to have it just suddenly end like that. Yeah, it's that was the toughest, toughest one of the toughest things for me was just be like, okay, it was like now what? It was like I was I kind of had the ball rolling down the hill. I was feeling really good, um, and I was impressing guys like you said. It was just it was tough, and I had to take it in stride. I had to take it like everybody else. I mean, I, I couldn't really do anything about it. I could sit here and complain about it all I wanted to, but that's not going to change anything. Um, so tonight, being able to have the opportunity I had to face pretty much the starting lineup for the Yankees in Yankee Stadium. I, I, I remember I was looking at the lineup card uh, this afternoon and I was like, I was so excited. I mean, it was, it was like one of these feelings. I was just like, this is awesome. I was like, there's no better opportunity for me to open guys' eyes. Whatever I did in spring training, one or whatever you want to call it, all that's behind me. Um, so if I want to open a door or I want to open somebody's eyes, tonight's the night to do it. And so I wanted to go out there and, and you know, I kind of embraced that moment. I, I it's tough to when you're playing, you can hear every single thing in the stadium. Like if it's a foul ball, it sounds like it's 110 off the bat. So, and you can hear the coaches talking. And, and so it's, it's tough to, you can't really get a bunch of adrenaline from, from fans or, or crowd noise. So what you got to do is I just built, built myself up off the moment. And that was facing these guys and being able to make an impression in front of all the, all the people watching today uh, or tonight. And so it was a lot of fun for me.